What is up everybody? Matt with Mikey Designs here. Today we're going to talk about how to expose your screens and wash them out. Stick around, we'll show you how it's done. Welcome back everybody. We're in the dark room and I'm in the process of exposing some screens. Here are our unexposed screens. We have some here that we already exposed. And in the process, I thought I'd show you guys how we go about exposing our screens. We're in our dark room, which is technically our, our whole shop. We just have this portion of it set up. We have the overhead light off. And I have my yellow safe lights going. And here's our exposure unit. It is a vacuum tabletop exposure unit, but we'll talk about some other less expensive options that some of you guys starting out can do. But in this case, we do have a, a vacuum tabletop exposure unit and you just wanna make sure that your surface is really clean. So we're putting down some Windex and then I'm just gonna take some paper towels and make sure this thing is nice and clean. Any dust on your exposure unit will end up being a pinhole in your screen. So the little bit of time you take here exposing each screen will save you time taping off pinholes on the press. Okay, we're gonna let that air dry for just a moment. Okay, now that that's air dried, I have an unexposed screen sitting on, on the tabletop exposure unit. I'm gonna grab a piece of film here. And we do not have a tri lock system or anything like that. We basically center our film onto the screen. And we'll have to show you how we go about registering our jobs but essentially we use these center marks. We print the white base down, make sure it's center on the press where we want it to print. And then we line the rest of our screens up with that. So I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of scotch tape down because that's all I really need. This is pretty quick when you're doing multiple screens. And we're gonna flip this guy over. And just as a quick note, when you are exposing your screen, to make sure that the emulsion side of your film is down, touching the screen. You can tell with your film, this will be your slick side, and with the tacky side, down up against your screen. So we're gonna flip this guy around. In this particular case, we're using the dual cure emulsion because we do have half tones. So we're gonna go ahead and lock this down. Excuse me, it's a little difficult holding a camera and doing this. And in our case, for us, three minutes and 30 seconds works the best. So we're gonna vacuum this down. Let it go down. Now we're going to expose. Okay, our screen has finished exposing. So we're going to take this and we're going to set it in the washout basin. Take my film off, set that aside. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to wet. I prefer to go back and forth between each side just to keep a constant, uh, just to constantly keep it wet. The reason being for that, if you only wet the back side a little bit and keep working on the front, you'll find that sometimes you have a little bit harder of a time. 
washing your screens up. This kind of helps break down the unexposed emulsion a little quicker. Just using a regular garden hose. Once it starts, the emulsion does start to break down a little bit. I would stop rinsing the back and focus solely on the front. You can actually see our image in the screen. That's the unexposed emulsion. So there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. I do recommend just using a garden hose. You need somewhat high pressure, but you don't want to go too crazy, especially if you have half tones, because you can wash some of those half tone details out. If you expose your screen properly, you can use a power washer. So I'm going to show you both of these methods. You can see our image starting to fall out. Because we do have this graphic down at the bottom, I'm gonna rotate it around. I'm somewhat of a tall guy, so it makes me it makes it easier for me to just flip this around a little bit. looking pretty good. I'm going to look over my image, make sure I didn't miss anything. Looks like we missed a little bit in the A right there. And last but not least, my information that I set on the page so that way I know what color this is because this is going to be a spot process job. Okay, I think we're all set. Looks pretty good. You can see the half tone dots in there. You can see them down here at the bottom as well. Flip this around. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of a light rinse on the back. I'm not going to spray too hard because we do have half tones here we're working with. I don't want to blow out any of my image. So I'm just going to kind of get my shower in just to make sure we got rid of all of our unexposed emulsion. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is dry the inside of the emulsion, or excuse me, the exposed screen where the 
least exposed part of the emulsion is going to be. And I'm just going to set that on the inside of the screen. I'm just using some old newspaper that generally gets tossed out anyways, but we, we reuse these sheets and, and let them dry. So that way we're not wasting too much paper. If you have compressed air, that's a great way to go. We don't have any compressed air in our shop, so this is our method. It actually says in the Ulano directions to actually use unprinted newsprint, but we have printed newsprint. Sometimes the print can transfer to the back, but it's not that big of a deal. So there you go. Now I'm just gonna set this aside and let it dry. Okay, up next we have the power washer method. Let's get our power washer going. And I'm not gonna get too close with this. There are half tones, so I don't wanna hit it for too long. So that way I'm not blowing out my half tones. But like I said, if it's properly exposed <coughs> and you use the correct emulsion, it will be just fine. <laughs> focus we've got our details there our half tones washed out pretty nicely you can still see these very fine half tones hung in there our fire is looking pretty good so there you have it everything washed out nice looks pretty good the power washer method. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful. I have some more screens I gotta wash out, so I'm gonna get back to it. As always, remember to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that way you get updates when we post our next video. Until then, we'll see you next time.